Welcome back to my channel, y'all. And today we're doing the best, okay, the best bread pudding and homemade salted caramel. And y'all, listen, look at that sauce, y'all. So good. Mm. Let's just get into it. So I have some uh, Texas toast and French baguettes that I toasted. One cup of brown sugar and granulated sugar. And then I have five large eggs. And then I have a mixture of chopped pecans, butter, and brown sugar we'll use later. And then I have my favorite Molina uh, vanilla and two cups of whole milk, okay? So first things first is you are gonna start on your wet mixture. And so make sure you mix up your eggs really well. You don't want any of those slimy pieces rolling through your uh, bread pudding. So just add the sugar and mix it really well until uh, the sugar has dissolved for the most part, okay? And um, something I'll say on your bread mixture, um, I just had some leftover bread, some Texas toast and French baguettes that I ordered and didn't end up using. So don't waste your bread, y'all. This recipe is so easy. You can make a whole dessert. This dish, let me tell y'all, is so good. And um, I used about three cups uh, for my dish size. And the rest you can use for croutons, okay? Plenty of uh, different ways that you can reuse old bread before it goes bad. So I am just pouring my um, mixture and I'm um, going to just let it soak up in the bread. It's going to create that custard and we're going to put it in the oven for 350. So here is my topping and I have again one cup of chopped pecans, uh, three fourths cups of brown sugar and half a stick of butter and I'm just going to mix this up. So this is going to create like a pecan butter. Normally, I'll roll this in some plastic wrap and refrigerate it and cut this, but I was being lazy. I had a lot going on, but I'm just going to dot the top of the bread mixture. And this is going to absorb into that bread, and it's going to be so good, y'all. So into the oven, 35, 45 minutes. Starting on the caramel sauce, I have the heavy cream, brown sugar, salt, and then again, my Molina. And then, guess what, y'all? I am putting crown salted caramel in there, okay? And if you have young ones that are going to be consuming um, this spread pudding, just replace the crown with uh, some water, okay? So I am just putting in uh, the sauce mixture into the pot, and then we're going to keep going. Also, if you have not already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, y'all. And for those who have, our family is expanding. I'm so excited. Thank y'all so much for the support. So I just added everything in, and we're just going to let that sit. But out came that bread pudding, and look at that, y'all. Hold on, let me pick it up so y'all can see this really well. Look how golden brown it is. And then you see those little um, bits of pecan and butter and just, mm. When I tell y'all, if you knew that you just had half a loaf of bread that was just sitting there, not doing anything, make bread pudding. Like this was so amazing. And look at this y'all. Look at that custardy middle. It is, mm. it is so good y'all. And then, oh my goodness, that crumble on top. Oh, those pecans. But here we go, y'all. Don't forget the salted caramel sauce that you made from scratch. And it's warm and gooey. Y'all, let me tell y'all this and some ice cream. But hold on. Let me let you get a bite. One second. Here you go. There you go, baby. Go on, take a bite. Look at that. So good. I can't. Ooh. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Try this recipe right now, okay? Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that when I post a new video, you'll be the first to know. Also, I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time in my new video. Bye, y'all.